So, hello guys, in this video we're going to see another example of our uh, ePills problems. So, here you're going to take an input and put it into AL, and it actually goes into AL, in fact. So, so uh, now, after taking an input, we're going to check whether if that input is equal to 1 or 3, we're going to show an output which is O, that means we're saying it is odd. If uh, the input is 2 or 4, we're going to say it is even. I was symbolizing by E. So okay that to do that you have to show some message. So let's say we're gonna show odd and even. So we have to divine uh get a segment here. Yeah. Alright. Let's say message one define byte even. You have to, don't forget to put a dollar sign at the end of the string. Uh, msg2 define byte odd. Don't forget to put a dollar sign. Okay. Alright. So now we have to initialize the data segment here. Move ax. You know, I expect you to know the process of uh, initializing data segment into code segment if in case if you can't just take a look at that so we're moving the, the address of data segment into ax and then moving the that into ds finally so we cannot do that to directly do that you have to put the address into ax then from AX we put the value into DS or the data segment. So now so let's take an input int twenty one inch. This is our kind of input function in assembly language. So the to this line the whatever input we are giving will be in AL register. So so now if we compare use compare instruction Compare AL to one. Okay. So I don't know how you can just if you just put the app space comma between uh, character you can just look at the character. You don't have to bother about the ASCII code of that number or character. So okay. Here we're comparing the value of AL that means the input with a one. If it is one, then we're gonna show this is odd. So let's jump if equal to if l equal to one then we're gonna jump into odd sorry if oh, sorry odd odd level let's say the first level name is odd yeah we're using another compare instruction if l is equal to three then we're gonna if in this line we mean that if AL is equal to 1, here we meaning if AL is equal to 3, then we will jump into odd level. So, odd. So, what we're gonna do in odd level is just show that mass is odd. To do so, just LEL load effective address. So, yeah, after the you have to and now the string name which is a message to m is sorry s g2 now we know that mob h into 9 is print function for string int 21h now the other case is still uh, we haven't done that so that is if the input is 2 or 4 we're gonna have to show if this is even so now we have to compare again compare al with 2 if equal to jump if equal to a, if AL is equal to 2 then we will jump uh, we will declare another level which is all even so even that means 
AL equal to 2 then we're gonna jump into AL even even level we're declaring another level called even okay so we're gonna have to use another compare instruction to just compare okay compare AL with 4 jump if equal to even AL if AL is equal to 4 then it will jump into the level even okay so inside the even we're gonna have just to the same just show the message show the string message here and printing that and this is the way of showing or printing uh, string so that's how so here we're gonna have to do something that uh, if uh, the instruction comes into this level it's going to execute this level and we want not to execute that after that but in structure programming the compiler just uh, check the code line by line so so you have to use here jump instruction in case to just jump to here so that we don't print whatever inside this level jump exit all right, we're just done. Oh, there's a problem. Okay. Let's run. If we give input four, show even. Uh, reload, run. If the input is three, it show odd. And that's how you can just determine all different in assembly language.